Anyone that's followed my channel since the beginning knows that one of the main inspirations for food has been recipes that I used to make on the food truck. And you know what? It's been about a year since I've made one, and I think it's about that time. The recipe we're making today is an appetizer that we called the work of art. It's crispy fried artichoke heart topped with one of my favorite sauces, which is a lemon basil aioli. Side note, one day we were booked for a lunch outside the Carabas Outback corporate office. A couple months later, something very similar to this ended up on the Carabas menu. I don't wanna take credit, but you tell me. This recipe is vegetarian, gluten-free, can very easily be made vegan, and well, you'll see how easy it is. Let's go. Don't worry, we are not gonna be peeling fresh artichokes today. This is way easier than that. We're gonna get to that in a second, but first we're gonna start with the sauce, and we are gonna need a food processor. You could use a big food processor if you want. I find that I don't need much more than this, and I don't like cleaning a big food processor. We're gonna start with good old-fashioned mayonnaise. You can make your own, you can buy it. This is where you could go vegan if you want. If you wanna get veganaise or some kind of plant-based mayonnaise, just this one step would make this whole dish vegan. For this size batch, I'm using about three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise and then one whole lemon. Make sure to roll it around on your cutting board to get those juices flowing. And then we're gonna squeeze both halves of our lemon into the food processor. And if you think it's gonna be a little too tart, we're also gonna add a teaspoon of sugar along with a good hefty pinch of salt. It's not really much of a lemon basil sauce without basil. And fresh basil, please don't use dried basil. Fresh basil, fresh. For this much mayonnaise, which is like two thirds of a cup, I'll probably use a half a cup of fresh basil. You can use more, you can use less. If you really like basil, go nuts, just live it up. I'm gonna start with this much. Probably 20 leaves of basil, maybe a quarter cup to a half a cup. Throw it in, we're gonna blend it up, see how it looks, go from there. This actually looks perfect. I don't know if you can see this. Look at that. It's green, it's tasty. Here, I'll try to get a close up. Not get my shirt in it. The lemon juice kind of loosened it up a little bit so it's not too thick. You can still drizzle it. It's a little tart from the lemon. If it's too tart for you, you can always add a little bit more sugar. I like it a little tart. The acid helps to balance the fat from when we fry the artichokes. If you think this looks familiar and you've been around for a little bit, we did use this same sauce on our artsy chicken sandwich episode. I will put the link in the description below if you want to watch it. But this stuff goes great on absolutely everything. You can put it on chicken or fish, throw it on a sandwich, use it as a dip for obviously these artichokes or chips or anything like that. I'm sure there's other things. I just can't think of it right now. I'm always looking for new ideas and new ways to use this. So if you make it and you really like it on something, throw in the comments and let me know. Believe it or not, that was the hardest part of this whole thing. We're gonna set the sauce aside, put it in the fridge until we're ready to use it. And now we're gonna work on our artichokes. Canned, quartered artichoke hearts. We're gonna open these up, put them in your strainer, let them drain for at least five minutes. If you wanna use a salad spinner, you can. While those are draining, get yourself a medium-sized pot and fill it about halfway up with oil. You don't wanna go too high because you don't want the oil to overflow. Because once you put stuff in it, it takes up volume and then the oil just half halfway. I'm using vegetable oil, you can use canola oil, any kind of neutral oil works. Don't use like olive oil or something that's gonna burn. We're gonna get this on the stove, medium, medium high heat. We're gonna let this come up to about 350 degrees. Last but not least, we're gonna make the batter, I guess you could say. It's not really a batter, it's not really flour. Take a medium sized container, such as this one here. Cornstarch. Cornstarch gets it crispy, it's gluten free. Add about a quarter cup of cornstarch to the container. A little bit of salt, kind of mix, kind of mix it together gently. Pepper tends to burn a little bit in the fryer, so I don't really use pepper, but if you wanted to add your 11 herbs and spices, you could add Cajun seasoning, paprika, anything you want to this. We just kept it plain. We want the artichoke flavor to kind of shine through. Once your oil's nice and hot, take a handful of artichokes, throw them in the cornstarch, and we want to toss these around to make sure the entire surface area is completely covered to maximize our crispiness. Then I like to use a strainer basket just to shake off the excess cornstarch. This is gonna keep your oil nice and clean. Once the fry train's rolling, it cannot be stopped. So we wanna have our dredging station, our oil, and our cooling rig all ready to go, which includes a strainer to fish out the artichokes, and then a paper towel underneath an upside down cooling rack, and now we're ready to fry. Then one at a time, lay your artichoke pieces in the oil. Make sure to lay them away from you, by the way, that way you don't splash hot oil accidentally up on yourself, because this oil is very hot and bubbly, and you do not want this on your skin. So make sure to give these a little stir once you put them in, that way they don't all stick together and make one artichoke clump. 
because that would be bad. And then after about two to three minutes, these things are done and nice and crispy so we can remove them to our draining rig. Hit them with a little bit of salt. And then you're not gonna be able to do this all in one batch. You don't wanna overcrowd the pot, so we're gonna do it in multiple batches. These things are gonna stay crispy for plenty of time, so don't worry about it. And then I also like to dredge and fry a couple pieces of roasted red pepper. It kinda gives a good balance to the dish. Now we just plate it up. To plate it up, it's pretty simple. I like to spoon on like two or three heaping spoonfuls of our lemon basil sauce. Kind of smooth it out at the bottom, make it a nice little pool, and then just pile up your artichokes. I like to alternate it with some roasted red pepper pieces. Let's stack them up nice and high. I like to put maybe like 10 pieces on a plate, and then top it off with a couple small leaves of basil. You can even fry basil for something different, and enjoy. It's been like 20 minutes since these things came out of the fryer, and they're still crunchy. This has to be, hands down, one of the easiest recipes we've ever done on the channel. But also, look how beautiful that is. That is a stunning plate of food that anyone would be happy with. And the whole thing costs just this much money. And there's also tons of this sauce left over, so use it on a lot of stuff. You'll thank me later. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers, so let's get there soon. Tell your friends, hit the like button so more people see this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at doesn't pay full price, and I'll see you next time.